Do not worry, be happy. <laughs> oh, I am digging in my Dollar Tree stash today. Hello, my besties. How are you? In today's video, I am going to show you how to make a decommerce swag using this $1 trellis, uh, two adorable pleated pillows from Dollar Tree, and a sign, words to live by, that will for sure add some humor to your home or make a great gift for a friend. So before we proceed, go ahead, press the little red button and subscribe to my channel for many more creative ideas in the future. And when you press the little bell, you're gonna be notified when I upload a new video. Oh, and did I mention you get two for the price of one? <laughs> yes, you automatically become our bestie. Uh, I do all the DIYs and as many of my subscribers already told me, Coco is the real star of this channel. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. Here's all the supplies used, including the barcodes. Like I already mentioned, most of them come from a Dollar Tree. So we start off by tying the pipe cleaners around the trails and you're gonna see how I do it. I basically tie it in every corner where the two rails meet, just like so. And that's exactly what I mean about stealing the show. While well, I'm showing how to do a DIY, this little monster here is already messing with my deco mesh. So I ran out of the blue pipe cleaners, but it's okay, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna finish this off with pink. And as I reach the end, I'm gonna use some tape to tie together those two stakes, just like so. And then we're gonna tie a pipe cleaner at that tip as well. When done, just double check your pipe cleaners. They all should stay on nicely and not sliding, except over there at the top maybe, because uh, there's no uh, cross point of the two wires there. Uh, so you might need to add a drop of hot glue just to make sure they stay in place and also on the opposite side as well. And let's just add a pipe cleaner over here in the middle, exactly across from the bottom tip. That space just seems to be too big not to have one. And here you're gonna see exactly what we did if you wanna pause and recreate this pattern. Next, I take my 10 by 10 measuring tool, <laughs> and measure the 10 inches, fold it in half and create a little poof, which I attach right there at the tip. I twist tie it three times. Next, gather up your mesh, Measure 10 inches, create a little poof, and tie it at the next twist die. This is a very basic poof technique. Just fluff it up a little bit, measure another 10 inches, and tie it down at the next twist die. We're going from the top towards the bottom. So 
So here we finished the first row and now I'm going to measure another 10 inches, tie it down at the tip there, measure next 10 inches and take it up now, the next row, and continue going up. As you can see, this is very simple. And as I uh, reach my last empty tie over there, um, I have only a little bit of decommesh left, so I decide to make a few more poofs. Just double up existing ties there. One more on the corner here. And looks like I have more than I thought, so I'm just going to cut it off here because I don't want to double up on one side. <laughs> um, and you see, I still have a little bit left, uh, so I'm just going to create a couple poofs at the bottom. The same way we started, we make one poof, we tie it down here. and add a couple more poofs across. So our base is done and now we're going to have some fun. Let's transform our pillows into little donuts. <laughs> Actually, not so little. First, we're going to fold our felt in four and cut out an even circle. Make it look like it's a dripping icing. Next, I cut out the hole in the middle. Let's see how this looks. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> now let's make another one. I'm gonna make it easier for myself. When I fold over the edge, I have a perfect square. So uh, now when I fold it in uh, four, it's gonna be less cutting all around. It doesn't have to be perfect. After all, it's icing, right? <laughs> I wish I had some brown felt for chocolate icing. Unfortunately, I don't and it's quarantine, so I'm not going out looking for felt. 
So our flavors today will be raspberry and blue raspberry. <laughs> and now of course we need some sprinkles. So I'm just gonna cut a few strips of felt. I'm gonna cut it one more time in half, about half an inch wide. And now cut these up in small pieces. Sprinkles! Now let's attach that icing. I'm just gonna use some hot glue. And if you happen to have some kids or grandkids around, call them to help because this is a fun game for them to play. <laughs> Just don't mind her blue lips. <laughs> she just had a popsicle. <laughs> uh oh, another helper coming. <laughs> All right, great job, girls. Let's see how we're gonna place these donuts now. I think one a little bit higher than the other and a sign right there in between. I'm just using some floral wire to attach them, uh, pierce right through the pillows and pull all the way down through the frame, tie them down. And in order to attach the sign, we're gonna mark two dots where the ties need to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Good that you guys are more than six feet apart from me. <laughs> so I put a lot of hot glue there, attach my floral wire ties and cover with a small piece of ribbon. And now we're gonna tie it down. That scarf is beautiful. I'm just folding over two loops and I'm gonna tie it down in the middle using one of the pipe cleaners that's right there under the picture. Now we're gonna cut our mesh in 10 inch pieces. Again, we're gonna use our little cardboard measurement we're just gonna wrap it around a few times. I'm not gonna do a full roll because it's hard to cut through the full roll, but maybe three times and cut it on both sides. And just like that, you're gonna have a six pieces. And continue cutting these 10 inch pieces. We actually wind up using two and a half rolls here. And this is the Dollar Tree Deco Mesh, so it's only 8 inches wide. If you happen to have 10 inch uh, Deco Mesh, that's even better because your pieces will be 10 by 10. Now we're just gonna roll up the Deco Mesh into curls. Simply roll them up in the direction they're already going into. And we're gonna put them together in bundles of three. And this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take three curls, tie them together with the pipe cleaner that's already there. And you move on to the next one. Just like so. You keep going around and adding your curls as you see them fit.
I haven't secured the sign all the way on purpose. I knew I still want to add some deco mesh over there. But once I'm done, I'll use some hot glue to reinforce it to the pillow and so on. So you just continue going around the reef and looking for those ties and keep adding the curls wherever you see fit. And there isn't any tie in between these two donuts. I wish there was. So I'm just going to add one extra one. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to tie it myself. Uh, you're going to see where it's needed. You know, if you see a blank space and you wish to add some color there, just tie it in there. And here's my trick for our scarf bow. It's beautiful, but it lays flat. So I'm just going to insert a curl of deco mesh in each loop and right away look how beautifully that stands up. And now I just want to add a little bit more color to my reef so I'm gonna do one more simple bow just two loops and two tails. and attach it right there on top of this bow. Use the same pipe cleaner that's already there. Why don't we add a blue one too? Let me just untie that pipe cleaner and add it in. And let's stop it off with the pink one, why not? <laughs> Now we just have to cut the fishtails. I feel like we need one more bow at the top. I'm just going to do it in my hands and then attach it with a pipe cleaner because I'm not exactly sure where it's going to go yet. And now blue and pink, exact same bow. Well, except the scarf, I don't have a second scarf. Okay, so we have a second bow have to fix it up a little bit, but as I look at it, how are we going to place it? I kind of like it upside down. <laughs> I think it's the first one, but yeah, I think it's going to look great. We're just going to go for it. Why not? <laughs> Next, I cut some ribbon tails about 12 inches long. And um, as you can see, I'm going to put them exact same order like in the bow. We're going to fold them in half, pinch them in the middle, make like a V shape and attach them here and there. For example, I like this spot over here under the donut. I think we need to bring a little bit more color there. Let me just find a pipe cleaner. There should be one there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. 
another set of tails I want to attach on the opposite side and there's no pipe cleaner there so I'm just going to tie one. One more set I want to attach over here at the top. I still have a little bit of ribbon left, so I'm going to attach one more set of tails over here underneath my bow. There's actually a pipe cleaner there, so I'm going to do another layer of tails right there. And as a finishing touch, I have these blue sprays from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut them apart and add them throughout my reef. I'm thinking a little bit here. What do you think? I'm just gonna glue it down. A little bit on the opposite side. And some at the bottom of the swag to extend it a little bit. And the last few at the top. And why don't we add these two pink daisies in the center of each bow as little cherries on the top. And when you are done, sure that you're not going to attach anything else, you can go around the reef and cut off any excess pipe cleaners. Are you ready to see the final result? Ta-da! <laughs> Look at this! Can you believe we made that swag of mostly Dollar Tree items? It's the biggest one yet. I think I needed to add some color and fun to our home. It makes everyone smile. <laughs> so if you need to sprinkle some fun in your home or you need a gift to brighten somebody's day, this is the creation for you. <laughs> the best part is that we made it so inexpensively. I went to check on Etsy and the deco mesh wreath with our sign costs $55. So definitely it's worth making your own. So give it a try, my friend. So this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching my friends. I hope you had enjoyed this video as much as I had fun creating it. Please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Take care. Bye bye.